Um, so I've been doing some stuff to the 3D engine uh, while my uh, uh, my computer's broken, and so I'm using a laptop to do this. But it's a really horrible laptop, so I can't really play any games or anything on it. Plus, it's a school laptop, so I'm forced to. I can't actually download anything onto the computer, or they might take it away. Or, I don't know. They have weird rules for it. Um, so I I put it on SD card. I put stuff that I want to download onto an SD card, so I can just remove the SD card, and I'm technically not installing it onto the computer. Like I got Steam onto it, but you know, whatever. Uh, you're not here to see that. You're here to watch me play a game that's horrible. Uh, so I've added OBJ loading, and I'm sorry if you can hear me tapping on the keyboard. The microphone is like right next to it. I don't. I could put my microphone from my old computer, but. I'm too lazy to do that. Um, so this is the penguin. There's no textures because uh, uh, Love 2D was designed for uh, only 2D games, as evidence from the name. Uh, and if you go on most forums where they're talking about this uh, texture loading, uh, everybody will. Most people disagree because they want to keep it uh, uh, 2D only. So, because there's enough uh, 3D uh, engines out there, but there's not enough with Lua, but whatever. Um, so, this is a penguin. Um, that's about it. It's white, because I didn't add color loading either. But faces are perfectly sorted now, and I can add cubes to the scene and you can't see through the penguin or you can't see cubes through other cubes just makes sense the color swapping thing was because I wasn't taking in the color of the face that I was currently drawing I was taking the face of uh, the second thing or something about the second second face is color so then it's like swapped every so often when you start moving which obviously you don't want just a little bit of issues with the uh, clipping camera clipping but it's fine for this low quality game it's not like this is gonna actually turn into a 3d engine or anything uh, I did have another class for uh, the pyramid shape so let me just add add it so I can insert a pyramid so I can show you um, like I added functions for um, loading specific shapes I don't know if I'm spelling pyramid right or not, but should load a pyramid when I press P. Obviously the the vertices are flipped, because I actually took the vertices from an OBJ file, and uh, OBJ files load uh, upside down for some reason, so I just inversed it. Every time you load an OBJ, it'll inverse the coordinates of it. So then I'll flip back over. So this is the uh, this is the uh, pyramid. It doesn't have a bottom face, but you can see sometimes you'll clip through, and then there will be a red face for some reason. That's about it. I don't know what else to show. Um. Yeah, that's about it. Um, camera movement is fixed, I guess, as well. Yeah. Because last time it would go in one direction, and the only way of moving relative to the camera was going sideways and up or down, but that doesn't count. So, 
that's the engine right now or if you could even call it an engine and now you're gonna see me open OBS because I don't have my hotkey set